See if I can catch another Starly. Oh, wait, what the heck? Who noticed me? Bro, what? Oh my god, what is this? Welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. We're here in Jubilife Village, and today we're gonna be returning to the Expedition Team base. Make sure to leave a like down below. We're doing a little marathon here, so 3,000 likes, and I'll upload the next episode. Anyway, a special parcel has arrived here at the Clothier, which I'm gonna guess is the outfits from having uh, the different game save files. So modern jacket, modern trousers, and shoes. That is from having save data from Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, and I believe it's uh, the outfit that looks like Team Galactic. And then I'm pretty sure I have... Ah, there we go, another special parcel. This time it's gonna be the Shaman Kimono. Oh my goodness! That is also from Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. And I'm pretty sure there's one for Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, so tell me this is it? Yes, the Pikachu and Eevee Festival Masks. Nice! What a precious gift. All right, anything else? No, but we can, I believe, change our clothing here. And don't mind if I do put on my little Pikachu mask, my little Eevee mask. You can even zoom in on the character there. Uh, I don't know if I like it, actually. I think I might just go... No, nah, I like the hat, actually. It's kind of grown on me. And then we also have uh, the Everyday Kimono. We just got this from playing the game. Uh, if you don't like the, what's it called, Survey Core Fit or modern jacket oh my god it's a team galactic trip yo i actually really like that and then the fancy kimono from shaman eh, not as big of a fan i think i'm gonna stick with the modern jacket and you can also get a growlithe outfit i believe as of the day the game comes out i'm actually playing it a little bit before it's officially released so i don't think i can get the growlithe fit just yet but uh, when the game officially comes out i'll go online and download that Captain Silene reporting for duty. I mean, me reporting to you. If you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Now show me your poking. Huh, you've made good progress. Seems you have earned yourself a star. Ah, oh, yes, I am the superstar. With this, you have officially attained the rank of first star. No longer am I a no star scrub. We got our first uh, jingle. Twinkle! That's what I was thinking of. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, not jingle. And we can now use Heavy Balls! Pokemon up to level 20 will also obey. The rewards you can earn will be more generous now too. Nice. Have these as well. They are further recipes you'll need for crafting. Heavy Balls. Alright. And revives! Not bad. Haven't had a Pokemon faint just yet, or our own character, because that can happen in this game too. A stranger like you should fall from the sky and yet flourish among us like this is a testament to your native talent and hard work. Most people prefer it when things are simple enough to be judged on face value alone, and proving your worth by moving up through our ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it, and even if you did fall from the sky, people may be more willing to accept you. Working your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make a life for yourself here. A higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and more rewards! And also, more of the map. There's one thing I didn't show off yet, is there was actually a dude blocking our way in the Obsidian Fields. But for today at least, we've earned ourselves a meal at the Wallflower and a good night's rest. Yes. Ah, the Wallflower. Some more yummy potato mochi. Orange, my boy! I believe a jolly good congratulations in order! Well done on earning your first star! Potato mochi tastes so much better when you have something to be happy about. Still, we'll be very busy from now on between our Survey Corps duties and requests from folks here. Which reminds me, have you already taken on the request from Beauregard? Oh, me and Bugene, we go way back. The people of Jubilife aren't too familiar with Pokemon, you see. So if problems arise, the Survey Corps gets called to help. Indeed so! Some people will ask you for help when you talk with them, while other requests will need to be claimed from the blackboard I keep in my lab. Speaking of which, weren't you approached with a request recently, Akari? What's that all about? Uh, about that. I was thinking maybe a Renji could handle it for me. I was told it would require a bit of skill with battling Pokemon, so... Oh, come on, Akari. I'm sure you can handle it. I mean, we could... Train a little bit if you want, one-on-one -on -one Pokemon battle. Ah uh, yes, that request came from Mai of the Diamond Clan. What? We're getting into the Diamond Clan already? 
and it's mine! That's uh, Marley's ancestor, right? The people of the Diamond Clan have lived here in Hisui since before Galaxy Team. If we could establish good relations, I'm sure there's much we might learn from them, including more about the local Pokémon. But we can discuss all that tomorrow. For today, we should eat up and get some rest. Oh, I was hoping that we would get to see Benny again, the dude that runs the restaurant. Because I'm pretty sure he's an ancestor of Silen from Pokemon Black and White. So I'll probably just show a picture right now of them next to each other. The next day. That spiral in the sky, man, it just looks so unfitting still to me. Listen, do you have a bit of time after this? There's something I could use your help with. Ooh, you are going to take up my offer to train after all, huh? Wait, now? Oh, whoops. Come on, please, I need your help. I mean, as a superior, I order you to help me. Oh my god, okay, senpai, fine. Let's do it then. Thank you. I'll be waiting for you at the training grounds then. If you've caught a lot of Pokemon, you may want to visit the pastures to change up your team. I think you can do that with the professor too, or maybe with like the guardsman or something, but I do want to check out the pastures and also the hair clipper. I wonder if maybe we can get ourselves a haircut already. Ooh, 500? Hell yeah. If we're not going to have our hat on, we might as well at least look stylish. What sort of luck would you like to go for, my dear? <laughs> Is this like Bertha's ancestor? I mean, they're both old ladies, so it's kind of hard to tell, but... What? I don't even see a difference, so I have to click it? Ah, there we go. Whoa, okay. That's already... Wow, that's awesome. We got the braids with like... A little strand going in front of the eye. That looks really cool. Uh, we got the Connie cut from Attack on Titan. Not a fan of that one. And the messy ponytail. Oh, that's interesting. Kind of like it, but I don't know if I'm going to go with it. I might actually just go for the curled. You can also change the color. Gold, black, or even white hair. That looks weird. And then slate. What is that? Oh, it's like slightly more blue. Uh, I think I'm going to go with this uh, red chestnut it matches with our eyes yeah i don't know I, i'm not a big fan of it now looking at the actual character in the overworld so maybe after we visit the pastures we'll switch it back and put on the hat maybe the default clothes again kind of like how just the default character looks but uh yeah in here we can see all the pokemon we've caught so far and i think switch them up as well so bidoof sadly you are gone my dude i'm gonna grab one of these drift loons uh does it tell you their size actually I don't see that anywhere yet. Probably have to like check the summary or something. I want the big drift loon, which I guess is this one in the middle. The other two are the same size. So you are coming with me joining the team and back to the survey work we go. Oh wait, can I actually go play with my Pokemon or what? I can see them in there, but I don't think we can actually get in there and like play with them or anything. What if I try to throw one of you in there? Yeah, we just hit the freaking oh wait that's a pokeball oh my gosh i keep doing this huh, get in there cascoon what the heck just came right back to me like spider-man or something wait my cascoon was glitched earlier i wonder if now oh nice of you to come out little friend actually that's a pretty big friend right there that's a <laughs> chonky boy i don't know how we carry it around without a pokeball which reminds me last episode or actually in episode one Professor Lavington told us that the way Pokeballs work is apparently Pokemon shrink down to microscopic size and literally get inside of them. I found that pretty weird. I thought Pokemon like turn into energy and uh, yeah, that's how they get in there, but apparently not. Here at the trading post, you can exchange merit points and trade Pokemon with others. Cool. Don't think we can do that quite yet. I mean, I don't even have anyone to trade with anyway, but I love that little... But I love that little Togepi on the banner. That's adorable. Oh wait, we can buy clothing too. How did I not do this earlier, dude? Uh, so there's everyday kimono in all the different colors and then the everyday trousers. Okay, so we don't have that many options yet. Actually, there's the fancy Oshawa bottoms and Ocher trousers. Oh, it's like the color, I guess. Do we have an Oshawa kimono too? Oh, that's nice, dude. So I'm guessing depending on which starter you picked will be the kimono you get. I'm not a huge fan of it though, like the design. It looks like the um, Shaman one, but ooh, Karate Gi. This might be a little, oh, yo, the Goku fit. Okay, we're going Goku. You already know, dude, I'm putting that on right now too. And hopefully they've got some better shoes. Really, it's just sandals. Like I want the boots if I'm gonna be looking like Goku. 
Oh wait, there's like way more hats. You got the woven hat and a headband. Ooh, I might go with this headband. This looks pretty cool. They got it in a lot of colors too. I mean, I know Goku doesn't wear one, but I guess we can be Naruto or something. And now that we've spent all our money to look like this, uh, let's go see what Akari's up to. Oh, we're definitely doing some training. Thanks for coming. I know you're busy. Not too busy for you though. I'm ready. I'm in my training clothes. Like, this is it. Listen, I've had an epiphany. And that is? You see, I've got a partner of my own. We may not get along perfectly, but we've got to work together to help complete the decks. What's her partner? Is it one of the other starters? Oh, it's Pikachu! Pika? Okay. When we were attacked by those Shinx, I got too scared to think straight, and I couldn't handle battling as a team. Ever since then, my partners refuse to listen to anything I tell them. And if I'm being honest, I'm not even sure how to order him. How to guide him in battle. You just press the A button. It's not that big a deal. What the heck? When I saw how you and your Pokemon work together, I realized we gotta do more. So please, have a battle with me. I wanna learn how to fight effectively. Well, this isn't really fair. I've got Oshawa, you've got Pikachu. I feel like I'm at a bit of a disadvantage here, but sure, let's do it. Akari versus Orangey. I love how the Pikachu just keeps changing color. Or like, I feel like the lighting keeps changing. Like the Pikachu looks super bright yellow. Look, it's back to super bright. Oh my God, what? Thunder Wave. That looked a little different. Well, I think that's what Thunder Wave normally looks like, but what? Pikachu's like moving around on his own. And there's a little magnifying glass. It'll last for five more turns. Oh, so paralysis wears off on its own. That's definitely different. What the frick? Charlie has Swords Dance already? All right, I'm gonna go for it. I just noticed that our tackle too has the agile and strong style already. Oh god, this is not gonna be cool. Oh, that freaking hurt. Okay, well we did just sword stance, so let's aqua jet and maybe one shot it. Yes, the sword stance aqua jet is too strong. I feel bad for Akari, but hey, we haven't lost yet. You and your Pokemon seem to be completely in step with one another. It's all right. You'll get there eventually. Level up for all the homies. New move for Drifloon, Shinx, and Starly. Okay. Thank you for battling us. I could be wrong, but for a moment, I felt like Pikachu would... Excuse me. Uh, yeah, they, they understood each other. Let's keep working at it, okay? Oh, look at those eyes. They're actually kind of terrifying. They look like some kind of alien with the reflection off of it. Guess I was wrong then. But I'll strive to work more as a team with my partner the way you do. What? How does she know that Pikachu wasn't agreeing? Assuming Pikachu and I can bridge some gaps. Yeah. By the way, the professor said Pokemon have things called types. Oh god, she doesn't even know her types. Okay, now I really feel bad. Pikachu seems to be an electric type, for example. Yeah, it had a huge advantage against Oshawott earlier. Whoa, they really show you the whole type chart right there? That's cool. Okay, well, we know our type matchup, so that's, uh, we can skip out on. So you're the one, the new recruit everyone's talking about. Whoa! Who the frick? Is she an ancestor or is that a new character? I feel like I kind of recognize her, but at the same time, I have no idea. Oh wait, Flint? They both got the choker, so I think that's who it is. Oh, that's so dope. I see you've got some fight in you. Figured I'd stop by and give what advice I could. Captain Sizu is a member of, or master, of an ancient martial art, one that specializes in Pokemon battles. Ooh, are we gonna get the strong and agile style explained officially? If your Pokemon's truly mastered its moves, it can actually use them in different styles. On the one hand, you've got the strong style. The move will deal more damage, but afterward it'll take longer for your Pokemon to act. On the other hand, you can choose to unleash the Agile style. Such a move will have less power, but your Pokemon can act more quickly after. In truly favorable conditions, it might even get out two moves before the opponent can. Strong style, Agile style, and of course, regular moves. Choose which is right for any given situation, and direct your Pokemon with a little nudge. I could have actually tried it out against Dawn or Akari. Like, we had it ready for just tackle on Oshawott. 
But uh, I'm guessing we're going to get to test it out now against Zizu, maybe. Her teachings should serve you well when you're up against tough Pokemon. Now I suppose it's time I went to meet Mai. You remember, right? I mentioned at the Wallflower that I could use your help? Um, to meet her down by the foot of Aspiration Hill. You should come as well, once you've readied your Pokemon team, and perhaps had them learn some new moves from Zizu, what? So she's like, the move tutor? Okay, I'm down to learn some new stuff. That's actually another thing I haven't uh, shown off yet, but if you go into the Pokemon menu, not only can you change their name whatever, but you can also change the moves, which is another amazing quality of life change. You no longer have to go to the move relearner. You can just do it whenever, uh, but you still only have a limit of four moves. So, you know, it's still sticking to that bit of the Pokemon formula, but I love just the quality of life improvements, just uh, simplifying things. Zizu is very large and in charge, and uh, I'm guessing she can teach you some new moves. Nice. All right, uh, let's go to Charlie and see that. Uh, wow, I was expecting it to just be the same list as we just saw, but no, there actually are new moves here since there's, I guess, no TMs in Legends. We got Fall Swipe, Rock Smash, Aerial Ace. And we don't exactly have that much money. I spent all of it on uh, character customization, as I always do. But there we go. We got Rock Smash in Charlie's Pool of Moves. Oh, so you only have to get it once. Okay, in that case, I'm definitely going to learn the... Uh, oh, wait. Maybe I should get Fall Swipe instead. Oh, you know what? F it, dude. Let's just learn both of them. Waste all of our money. I'm literally going broke. But now Charlie's got... A whole bunch of moves and if we back out uh, she can also teach you or help master moves but not unless you have a seat of mastery whatever that might be we can exchange items too. grit gravel rock or pebble I don't know what any of these are yet but uh, I'm guessing we'll find out later so for now we're done with Zizu and we can actually test out what I was showing earlier which is if we go to change moves there we go we've got the full list oh you actually have to go here in order to actually add the move to your roster so let's grab fall swipe instead of tackle and then rock smash as our final option and uh yeah that seems pretty good to me so boom that's gonna be our new set of moves on little old charlie I'm going back to the default outfit. I'm sorry, that uh, Goku Gi, it's just, it's not quite ready. If we can find blue boots sometime in the future and also change our hair back, because honestly, I'm not digging our new hairstyle, but I also spent all my money, so we can't even change it right now. So we're sticking with it for now and heading back into the field lands. I love that loading screen. The little dude just running along. Anyway, uh, we got to go meet Mai which is Marley's ancestor, down by the Hello Velcro. How dare you sneak up on me like that? Yeah, I'm surprised. What do you want anyway? There's a secret technique to catching Pokemon, you see. It's what I call the secret backstrike technique. Hitting a Pokemon's back will surprise it, making it easier to catch or giving you an advantage. Oh, I kind of figured that out on my own actually. And it even has like a different sound effect, like a critical capture. If you're part of the Survey Corps now, working to create the Pokedex, you might end up meeting every last Pokemon here in Hisui. That's the goal. I'm going for it, bro. Might not believe us, but uh, little by little, this guy seems to have a side quest for us. Oh, you're that boy from the Survey Corps. Listen here. Okay, what do you want, bro? Mushroom cake? Sure. I know how to make those. In Minecraft, I can make cake and uh, mushroom soup. I don't know about combining the two, but I can try. Scrounge not from the forages of thy fellows. Okay, one springy mushroom's all you need. I'll be waiting. So that's literally all he wants is just a mushroom? Yeah, it actually shows it. Well, my head is covering it. I don't actually know where to place my face cam for this playthrough. I know you guys want to see my reactions and stuff, but I also don't like covering up any info. So I'm going to keep it in this corner because in battle and when we get experience and stuff, there tends to be more stuff over there, I guess, in the other corner. Uh, but in case any little requests pop up, I'll just tell you exactly what they say. So right now this guy wants us to collect one springy mushroom, which I don't think I've ever seen 
a springy mushroom, so I don't know where we can find those. But uh, let's test out that thing that Volo just told us about, which is if we strike a Pokemon on the back of its head. Oh god, Shinx noticed us. Okay, never mind. We're running away. Actually, while we're here, though, let me grab some more Apricorns. And... Seems like my is right over this way. So this is the guy I was talking about. He won't let you pass until you're one star. But now that we are, we should be fine. So we can go on. Don't let your guard down, though. Retreat to safety if you find yourself in trouble. Oh, what the frick? He's just gone. Maybe he would have blocked our way if we tried to walk past him. What if we try to walk into the river, though? Oh. I guess you can't swim, huh? <laughs> well, that's not good. Uh, we haven't fainted yet, though. That doesn't count as a death yet. Over here! Hey. Wait, I want to see what the little markings on Mai's clothes are. But I guess we're going to have to wait a little bit. So, a new face in the village? Not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I assume you're prepared to be of help. I am one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me Mai. I suppose you might not even know what a warden is if you're new to Hisui. But such talk can wait. Right now, I'd rather we get straight to the point. I have a problem that I need help solving, so the more important question is... Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? Hell yeah, especially now that we've got Rock Smash. That Munchlax don't stand a chance. That security core of yours certainly wasn't up to the task. <laughs> this here's my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. He battles at my side by choice without needing any silly little balls like you use. Watch and learn. I'm watching, but I don't think I'm learning much. Oh, there we go. Charlie, go! This music, though. Oh my god, Munchlax running up to us. Oh my, I love this remix, man. What? This is so good. The music, I mean. The battle itself is a little bit laggy. But I'm sure it'll fix up. Or not. Look at that uh, boulder in the background. <laughs> That's, uh, you know... Anyway, like I said, we've got the Rock Smash now, but I want to try using the Strong Style or Agile. Now, let's go with Strong Style Tackle. See how much that does. First time using the Strong Style. And yeah, I mean, it's a Munchlax. It's pretty dang tanky. Bro, his tackle did so much. Oh my god, he gets to attack twice because we did Strong Style. Wait. Ah, there it is. I was wondering, how do we bring up the Action Order thing? I don't know if my head cam or face cam is covering that. I feel like I should be just right above it. So you can hopefully see that Charlie gets to move next. Twice, actually. So we're going to go for a rock smash right now. And bam! Super effective. Lowers that defense, which means I'm pretty sure one more rock smash will kill it. Yeah! Good stuff, Charlie. I like it. Battle decided. Oh, man. I love this game. Everybody gets a level up except Bidoof for some reason. Mine. You really aren't one of the usual galaxy buffoons, huh? Well fought, Munchlax. I'll take care of the Pokemon that battled for us. Wait, was Mai in the background? I didn't even really look, but I'm guessing that she was somewhere in the scenery. And I'll let you have these. You people make all kinds of things with your crafting, don't you? These should prove to be useful materials. What do you mean, you people? <laughs> we got Vivichoke. You and your Pokemon fought well. You practically acted as one with them. Rather like the legendary hero of old. The one we tell stories of to our children. I think you're indeed the one for the job. You see, I need someone to deal with an alpha Pokemon causing trouble upon Deer Track Heights. It is large, fearsome foe, like any alpha. But you'll do it, won't you? I mean, I can try. What the heck? <gasps> the Arc Phone! It's been a while since we've spoken to God. That thing you have, it's showing you where you've got to go, isn't it? <laughs> Get that crap out of there, man. No one wants to see that. 
I'll leave this in your hands. You'll do great out there. I know it! Seems you're quite the asset to the Survey Corps, new one. Though, before we continue, I must ask, do you already know about Almighty Sinnoh? Oh, dude, I've been waiting for this juicy lore. Of course! I'm lying. Straight through my teeth, dude. How about that? Though, I'm not certain you've been told the true story. The true story is this. Almighty Sinnoh steers all time. It's said to have created the very universe using its power over time's flow. And this land of Hisui was born in the process. It's by the grace of Almighty Sinnoh that Pokemon can live and thrive here. We of the Diamond Clan are descendants of a people who crossed the sea and settled here in Hisui to venerate Almighty Sinnoh. However, it stole away from the world long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Sinnoh has only rarely been seen by any human, if the old tales are to be trusted. But there are still Pokemon here today in Hisui with a connection to Almighty Sinnoh, and it is the duty of wardens like myself to attend to their needs. The Pokemon that graces Deer Track Heights is one of those honored few. It is directly descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Follow me, and you may understand. May, like your name? I guess it's my. But man, my theory was right. Before the games came out, one of the trailers mentioned Almighty Sinnoh, and I'm pretty sure everybody thought that it was referring to Arceus itself. I had a feeling that depending on if you're in Diamond or Pearl Clan, Almighty Sinnoh would refer to either Dialga or Palkia, and it seems that my theory was correct, as Mai definitely seems to think Almighty Sinnoh is Dialga, the deity of time. Or is it Palkia? I always forget, but, you know, the one that does time, I'm pretty sure it's, uh, Palkia? Actually, did I say Palkia earlier? I don't even know anymore, dude, but, uh, new Pokemon! We got Krikatot, which we actually haven't caught yet somehow. I want to see if I can wait for it to turn around so we can get that head smack. Yo, bro, you're coming a little too close. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he knows that we're here. Or maybe not. All right, just a little bit further. And... Oh, come on! Why did you turn around, dude? I was trying to get it right on the back of the head, but... Hey, we still catch it. Just not the critical capture, or whatever Volo called it. Nice, though. Didn't get spotted somehow. And, uh, yeah, I think this might actually be the end of this episode because I don't want to get into the whole noble business just yet, but I'm assuming that's what Mai is referring to with the whole Pokemon that was blessed by Almighty Sinnoh. I keep wanting to say Almighty Arceus, but it's, yeah, Almighty Sinnoh is uh, the one that apparently blessed the Pokemon. And once we meet the Pearl Clan, I'm guessing that they're going to say it's a Pokemon that ruled over space instead of time. So yeah, I'm pretty proud of myself figuring that one out before the game even came out. I feel like not many people really put the dots together with a dialogue because the leaders of Diamond and Pearl Clan, they keep mentioning like time and space. So that's kind of where I got my idea from. Bro, what is going on with this rock right here? I'm not really one to complain about graphics, but come on, that's a pretty freaking obvious and looks not good overall i do like the the style of the game though like i don't know if you'd call it the graphics or the art style i like the art style the graphics you know obviously they could be better but i really like just the way that everything is kind of cell shaded and just the color and uh yeah the, this art style is the best word that i can think of to describe it but uh there is an unsuspecting Starly, so this time for realsies, BAM! Right on the back of the head! You can hear a bit of a different sound effect, uh, which shows you that uh, we got that bonus capture, or whatever it's called. It seems that there's one more guy here, Bjorn, with a side quest for us. Mind helping a guy out? Sure. Cherry berries. I don't know if I've really gotten any yet, but I can try if I see some. I do really want some more money so we can change up our hairstyle. Request 13? How do we skip from 6 to 13, bro? Oh, I actually already have 6 cherry berries. Okay, well, here you go, Bjorn. That's one request complete, and hopefully we get some money from it. 
so I can go back to my previous hairstyle because I, I can't do another episode like this, dude. Come on. He only gave us Pokeball. He didn't even give us some money. What the heck? There's just wood right here and a Buizel. Oh, God. It's about to attack, isn't it? Uh, let's try out another one of our Pokemon. Like Shinx. I'm not sure if it has any electric moves yet. I haven't battled with anyone other than Oshawott the whole playthrough so far. As we get Aqua Jetted. So yeah, when a Pokemon is aggravated, they get to strike first. And it seems like we've actually got a strong style quick attack already. Let's do an agile quick attack and then a thunder shock right after. I think that's how it works, right? So we quick attack and then yeah, we still get to attack again. So thunder shock it is and nice. That's actually gonna knock it out. I love uh, the variety or I don't know what to call it, but just the fact that battles have been changed in this game and I can't wait to like explore with it more really learn how to maximize that whole agile and strong style uh, but I think that's enough for this episode I really wish we could just cross the river over there we got some more buizels yo can we actually reach with our pokeball all the way over there that'd be pretty crazy oh it came a little closer hold up wasn't even close to reaching well what the heck why is this berry tree over here shaking there's got to be a Pokemon in there or something, right? I'm almost scared to throw Shinx. Let's go for Charlie and see if maybe once we hit the tree... Yo, it's a Burmy! What the heck? Why is it just floating in midair like that, though? That looks a little weird, bro. Oh, it's trying to run away. No, you ain't getting away from me, bro. What are you trying to do here? Even if I go Agile style... Burmy's still really fast, so maybe I'll just uh, go for a Swords Dance and... Wait, I don't even want to one-shot it, actually. I don't know why I went for Swords Dance. Please don't run away. Okay, it goes for Struggle Bug, which actually kind of hurts. Oh, what? That got rid of our Swords Dance. What the frick? All right, fine. Aqua Jet it is then, which does a lot of damage anyway. So uh, now it's time for our Pokeball. I definitely want to burn me on my decks. So this is our opportunity. A one... And that's it. Pokeballs only shake once. That still catches me off guard, dude. We also get a couple of items and more importantly, Burmy in the decks there. Nice. Let's see if I can catch another Starly. Oh, wait, what the heck? Who noticed me? Bro, what? Oh my God, what is this? Is that an alpha Pokemon? Seems pretty quick. Is it really gonna? Oh, oh no, wrong button, bro. I tried to roll with B and I got smacked by a water pulse, it seems. I don't even want to take- I feel like I'm not high enough level to fight that thing. I'm kind of- can we throw a poke? No, we definitely can't just throw a Pokeball at it, right? I don't think that one hit. Let me try again, actually. <laughs> okay, yeah, it just bounces off. <laughs> this time, though, we're gonna dodge. Nice. Oh, God, I'm gonna fall in the water. Bro, leave me alone, Float Soul. What the frick? Is this a water pulse? Okay, I thought it followed you forever. <laughs> this is terrifying, man. I uh, don't want to mess with that thing. Six hours later. Whoa, a Ponyta. That's a new Pokemon. I don't know exactly where we are. I guess I'll just show you on the map. We're exploring this little area, and that's where the Float Soul was. So it seems like we're not too far from there, but... I'm down to catch myself another new Pokemon. Let me just switch over to Oshawott so we have a type advantage here. The question is, do we want to knock it out or catch it? I feel like the first time you run into a Pokemon, it's better to catch it. And never mind, the Ponyta just runs away. Thankfully, there's another one over there. It looks like it's tiny, though, compared to the one that we were just battling. I mean, we might as well just throw a Pokeball straight at it instead of... Attempting to battle it because I don't know that first one ran away. So maybe that's a thing Ponyta just run away if you try to battle so Pokeball actually hits and Nice we got it Why is it so tiny though? Is that just me? Maybe the one that we first encountered was the large variety because this one looks kind of small too Oh, yeah, dude that first one we fought was definitely large and in charge uh, but this one, not gonna run away, so we're gonna knock it out in one hit with Aqua Jet. Nice. <laughs> We've used Aqua Jet so many times at this point, we do not need any more research for it. I should probably start using some of my other attacks, but... How did you not notice me, bro? I walked right in front of... Oh, man. They always turn around at the last second, so I can't get the ball to the back of the head. But, hey, still caught it. 
Let's see if there's anything else interesting around here. <gasps> what the fu- what? Oh, it's another- okay, I was about to say, that is a very, very big Ponyta. But no, it's a Rapidash. Maybe this is a raging Pokemon we can handle. We have two- no wait, we only have one water type in Oshawa, but I mean, Oshawa's pretty strong, so if we can get off a Swords Dance somehow and then Aqua Jet a couple of times, I feel like we could do this, so most important thing is to catch it off guard. Make sure it doesn't notice you. Otherwise, it's going to get to strike first. And you'll probably just... Oh, God. Why? Why did you know? Why didn't it go into battle? Bro, I need to run. Is this thing a... Oh, what? Was that a Drifloon or is that Rapidash using Hypnosis or something? I don't even know what was going on there, but I am booking it, dude. <laughs> that was real close to disaster. I want to try again, though. I feel like Oshawa can do this, so hold up. Maybe we got to throw the Pokeball close, but not hit it. No. What the frick? Why is it not activating a battle with it? Bro, that's really close to it. Oh, God. Uh, nothing to see here. Stop looking at me. No, I'm just a tree. <laughs> we got to run again. Dude, this is kind of crazy. I'm like at the edge of my seat against these alpha Pokemon. Dude, it's like an owl. Its neck is literally turned 180 degrees to still look at me. All right. I mean, oh, we got the critical hit. Nice. This is exactly what I wanted. Filled with might, but Charlie, you got this. Uh, we can't use agile style swords dance, but if we can survive just one hit from the Rapidash, and we might be all right. I mean, it's still level 40, just like the Luxio. Uh, but it's caught unaware. And still goes for Hypnosis. Yes, Charlie avoids it. Let's go. Now it's time for our signature Aqua Jet. And uh, that's uh, not nearly enough damage. All right, so Charlie's drowsy. That means uh, we may fail to act and damage is increased. Okay, well. Uh, maybe we can still attack. Nope, too drowsy to move. Giga Impact! Oh my god, Charlie, how are you dodging these? Bro, okay, no. I don't, I mean, I don't want Charlie to die, but at the same time, like, it'd be pretty crazy if we can beat a alpha Pokemon this early on. Oh, there it is. Charlie's so dead. I'm sorry. And now Rapidash is staring us down again. There's no way any of our other Pokemon are going to inflict enough damage to it. Like, yeah, uh, we might as well just run. I mean, we do at least get to attack first. So, Aerial Ace. Uh, actually, we're getting pretty close. That's going to be another death, though. But, you know, we're making progress. It's all up to you, Shinx. Can't even see him in the little grass there. Oh, if we could do like a powered up Thundershock, that would be insane. But we don't have that yet. So just regular old Thundershock. Dude, we're so close. Critical hit. Let's go. Another Giga Impact. Oh, God. Our whole team is getting wiped right now. But wait, didn't we get a revive from some guy back in the town? Uh, we should probably go for that because I don't think Drifloon going to do enough. I mean, Drifloon's only got Astonish, so yeah, we're definitely not going to do enough. Unless... Oh, that's a good amount. And we avoid the Hypnosis. Let's go. One more Astonish. Dude, if Drifloon can actually do this, I... Oh, man, it's so close. Fire Blast now? Wow, that animation was crazy. No way. It's all on Bidu. The true savior of this playthrough. And... The last Pokemon standing is gonna knock it out with the strong style rollout. Let's go! That is so much experience, bro. Bidoof just went to level 17. We can already evolve this dude. That's freaking crazy. And how much did Cascoon gain? 14. Wow. Okay, I kind of wish that my other Pokemon got the XP, but at least now they won't be over leveled. So why not? Let's. Evolve our Bidoof and maybe Cascoon or Silicoon right after. I don't know which one is which, like which evolves into Beauty Fly or Dust Tox, but I know 
We're getting ourselves a bee barrel right now. Look at those eyes. Why is the evolution scene so scary? What is happening? And we got the idea for a new move. So does that mean uh, we got to go here to change moves? Oh yeah, we got water pulse now. Nice. Uh, let's get rid of the tackle for that, I guess. And then Kasku, and I think that goes to Dust Tox. If I'm not mistaken, Silk makes sense for a butterfly. Or maybe a moth. I don't know. My... Oh. Well, there it is. Dust Tox! Yeah! So, my hunch was right. Silcoon is Beautifly. Kaskoon is Dust Tox. And it's also going to get the idea for a new move. What could that be? Poison Powder and Iron Defense. What? Oh, you already have that, though. First be Barrel Caught. And should say first Beautifly or Dust Tox. Jeez. How did I get that wrong already? 